Hey everybody, this is Chris with Phone Arena and I'm excited to say that we've had the Android M developer preview loaded on our resident Nexus 6 for a few days now and I'm about to show you what it's all about. But before we get into the details, a few words. Unlike Android Wallipop, Android M isn't at all about the looks of the operating system. Instead, Google has focused on improving the user experience and while this never sounds as sexy as design overhauls, I've gotta tell ya, there's some impressive new functionality coming our way. Let's check it out. While Android M is not really concerned with the design of the system, there are a few notable changes nevertheless, including the lock screen, the app drawer, the settings menu and even the volume control bar. Starting with the lock screen, only one thing has changed. In place of the shortcut for the phone app, we now have one for quick access to Google Now. We'd much rather have this particular modification reverted, as Google could just make it possible to activate Now with a voice command on the lock screen and still allow us to place calls quickly. On a related note, the current build of Android M makes it more difficult to launch either of the two shortcuts by limiting activation to a precise swipe from the respective icons. In Wallipop, a swipe from either side registers as intent and you don't need to fumble with your device. As for the app drawer, this is probably the area of most significant change. Gone are the horizontal tabs of old and we now have a vertical list of all the apps on the device. Navigating through your many apps is made easier with letter indicators on the left, so hunting down that one app you almost never use is easier than before. That's not all however. Google has added a dedicated favorites dock on the very top, which is currently non-customizable, but seems to dynamically change based on your app usage. Lastly, a search function has been added to the app drawer in case you simply can't be bothered doing things manually. Turning to settings, we find only one new major addition to the menu tree called Google. Within the menu, you'll find all the options that used to call the Google Settings app home, including ad preferences, locations, search and now, and smart lock passwords. Finally, Google has addressed one of the longest standing stock Android pet peeves, which is proper volume control. For example, in Lollipop, if you're staring at your home screen and want to tweak the volume, you can only do so for your ringtone, and not media or notifications. To change those, you either need to dig through the settings menu or go inside an app that uses that particular sound category. With Android M, we are happy to see that Google is changing things up and the volume bar can now be expanded with controls for other categories too. In Android M, Google is reimagining the way app permissions could work like and we have to admit that the new system is essentially identical to Apple's with iOS. So instead of agreeing to a whole bunch of permissions, apps will from now on be installed without any prompts. Instead, only when you access a particular feature of an app that requires access to a protected part of your system would you have to give it permission to execute. In addition, Android M allows you to easily control permissions by breaking them down into understandable categories and giving you the full list of apps that makes use of each. Within said menu, you also be able to revoke privileges on a per permission category basis, so if you figure out you don't want this or that app to access your microphone anymore, you can do something about it easily. When we last compared Google Now with competing services from Microsoft and Apple, we found it to be superior and not by a little. Google isn't being complacent at all however and has pushed some pretty significant improvements to the service in Android M. Unfortunately, the current preview build doesn't actually include the new functionality, but it's worth outlining anyway. Called Now on Tap, a new major component of Google Now is set to go live at some point in the future and completely change our idea of contextual awareness. But how? In Android M, users will be able to summon Google Now within apps by holding the home key. Instead of just waiting for voice input, however, the service will analyze the contents of whatever it is you're looking at right now, like an email inviting you to a gala, a text message from your loved one reminding you to pick up some sugar on your way back, or even a friend asking you whether you want to check out that new Avengers movie. In all these scenarios, Google now will be able to make sense of what's going on and will provide you with assistance by giving you movie reviews and shortcuts to related apps, setting automatic reminders and even loading applicable trivia. To round off the package that Android M is, Google is also adding in mobile payments and native fingerprint scanning support to the mix. Starting with the latter, what Google has done is simple. Android M relieves developers and manufacturers by saving them the effort of having to program fingerprint scanners themselves, as the functionality will be a part of the core. This means handset makers will only have to acquire the physical scanners themselves and do little else to enable the feature for potential consumers. This change ties in well with the announcement of a new service called Android Pay. Yes, it is alike to Samsung Pay and yes, it is alike to Apple Pay. In fact, Google has been trying to do mobile payments for a while now, but this is the first time the company seems absolutely determined to get this rolling. With Android Pay, all you have to do during transaction time is whip out your phone, unlock the screen and tap with it on an Android Pay or NFC badge inside any store that supports contactless payments. This means no apps, at least not after you add in your credit card. 
The preview build we have on our Nexus 6 has no new functionality available to it in this regard. In fact, the tap and pay submenu is not even working properly right now. But we were told what to expect at IO 2015. Essentially, once you enter your details, a virtual number will be assigned to your card, so you're never actually sharing sensitive information with the retailer. Usability improvements, as essential as they may be to the user experience, aren't as sexy as design revamps. I know, I'm repeating myself, but it's true. With Android Wallipop, Google introduced a significant overhaul to both the looks and underlying design of Android, changing its course for the foreseeable future. With Android M, the company is simply building on that momentum by pushing a very healthy number of some impressive new functionality. Indeed, new features such as Now on Tap and Android Pay aren't at all banal improvements. And they're not alone. Pet peeves such as volume control and even a more sophisticated permission system all add up to a comprehensive package that makes it clear that Google isn't being at all complacent. If anything, Google is very aggressively expanding the capabilities of its mobile OS. So where does that leave us then? It's too early to tell, to be honest, as a lot can change during the developer preview window, but if we were to produce a verdict right now, we'd have to give Android M top marks for the proposed changes. We're excited, folks, and so should you.